Huge plumes of smoke billowed over the sky of Tyre City after a series of Israeli airstrikes in southern Lebanon. Israel called on various neighborhoods in Tyre to evacuate as it will conduct airstrikes on suspected targets. The military said it aims to push Hezbollah out of southern Lebanon so that tens of thousands of Israelis can return to their homes after more than a year of cross-border rocket and drone attacks. Over a million fled their homes after Israeli airstrikes pounded large areas of Lebanon for weeks. Israel's military accused Iran on Monday of sending suitcases of cash and gold by planes to the Iranian embassy in Beirut, before it, then goes directly to Hezbollah. Without providing evidence, spokesman Daniel Hagari also said Israeli intelligence had discovered a bunker belonging to former Hezbollah head Hassan Nasrallah under a hospital in southern Beirut, an area with a strong Hezbollah presence, which holds millions of dollars of gold and cash. Hezbollah's financial network is based on two main sources of income. Money from the Iranian regime and money from the Lebanese people. Iran's Quds forces transfer money to Hezbollah from Iranian oil sold in Syria. Iran also sends suitcases of cash and gold by planes to the Iranian embassy in Beirut, and then directly, it goes to Hezbollah, Hagari said. There are hundreds of millions of dollars in cash and gold inside the bunker right now. I'm calling on the Lebanese government, Lebanese authorities, and the international organizations, don't. Don't allow Hezbollah to use the money for terror and to attack Israel. A Lebanese legislator has denied Israeli army statements that said Hezbollah is storing money and gold under his hospital in South Beirut. Member of Parliament Fadi Alama who is the director of Sahel General Hospital, denied there are tunnels under the hospital and said that the medical center is now being evacuated. Alama, who as a legislator is representing the area where Sahel General Hospital is located in a southern suburb of Beirut, called on the Lebanese army and other institutions to visit the area and inspect whether there is indeed a tunnel under the hospital. Alama told the local Al Jadi TV that the Sahel General Hospital is a private medical center that has underground operations rooms. He said the hospital has been in the area for 42 years and it is not linked to any political group. Hezbollah's main financial arm is the Al Qard Al Hassan Association. It provides financial services to Lebanese civilians and pays the salaries of Hezbollah's operatives. Al Qard Al Hassan which violates the international law, is sanctioned by the United States and other Western countries. Hezbollah's financial network is based on two main sources of income, money from the Iranian regime and money from the Lebanese people. Iran's Quds forces transfer money to Hezbollah from Iranian oil sold in Syria. Iran also sends suitcases of cash and gold by planes to the Iranian embassy in Beirut and then directly it goes to Hezbollah. 
the Israeli Air Force carried out a series of precise strikes on these Hezbollah financial strongholds. One of our main targets last night was an underground vault with millions of dollars in cash and gold. The money was being used to finance Hezbollah's attacks on Israel. This vault was deliberately located under a residential building. Our strikes will degrade Hezbollah's ability to finance its attacks on Israelis. Tonight, I am going to declassify intelligence on a site that we did not strike where Hezbollah has millions of dollars in gold and cash in Hassan Nasrallah's bunker. Where is, where is the bunker located? Directly under El Sahel Hospital in the heart of, the, of Beirut in the Dahia. This is the hospital. From both sides you can see an entry and exit. Those are entry and exit tunnel shafts from the underground for the underground bunker. The entrance is located in the Al Mahdi building and the exit is located in the Al Sahal Center building. This is the bunker. It contains rooms, beds, and infrastructure for long stays and the ability to direct combat from underground. Hezbollah built this bunker directly underneath this hospital. There are hundreds of millions of dollars in cash and gold inside the bunker right now. I'm calling on the Lebanese government, Lebanese authorities, and the international organizations. Don't. Don't allow Hezbollah to use the money for terror and to attack Israel.